Hi everybody, Martin Hazy, Lord Mayor for the City of Adelaide. Great to see you. I now look forward to sharing with you what's been happening at Adelaide City Council during the month of April. It certainly has been yet another very busy month. Firstly, we held a light rail summit here at Adelaide Town Hall, where I invited a number of metropolitan mayors into Town Hall to have a talk about what is the opportunity with extending a tram network around not only the City of Adelaide, but throughout metropolitan Adelaide. And we had guest speakers, experts, come in from the City of Sydney, the Gold Coast City Council, and a number of professional organisations who shared with us all of the aspects of light rail. What are the benefits, socially, transport-wise, and of course also through an economic development lens? So it was a very, very productive time, and what we built out of that was a sense of solidarity amongst metropolitan mayors, recognising that light rail is very important. Only on Tuesday this week, we moved a motion through our council chamber to recognise that the Adelink project, which is the piece of work led by State Minister Stephen Mulligan, Transport Minister, that we're all united around working with the Minister in terms of feeding into the Adelink project, which will be done over the coming year. And that'll help us inform what exactly do these transport and what these social and these economic uh, uplifts look like when it comes to trams. So it's an exciting time because trams bring more people in and out of the City of Adelaide, as you know. Secondly, some weeks ago I spent some time in our sister city of Qingdao. Qingdao is in China, it's north of Shanghai and it's within the province of Shandong. We've had a sister city relationship with the city of Qingdao for some years and we were celebrating a 15 year milestone this year in 2016. State Government of South Australia concurrently is celebrating a 30 year milestone for a longer term relationship with the province of Shandong. There were many mayors up in the city of Qingdao and Shandong province, and there were many local government representatives, and just as importantly, there was a large contingent of City of Adelaide businesses joining us. In fact, there were 32 across a whole variety of sectors. There's one thing which is very common to these trade delegations, is that everyone from Adelaide and South Australia is up there in the province of Shandong, in our sister city of Qingdao, looking for opportunities whether they're cultural exchange opportunities or whether they're commercial opportunities. And this year I'm very pleased to report that we've quantified the economic benefit from City of Adelaide businesses from the very recent trade delegation to Qingdao at some $15 million Australian. So I had great pleasure in uh, having a report go through Adelaide City Council only this week which detailed all of the important outcomes of that terrifically productive trade delegation to China in recent weeks. So if you do know of a City of Adelaide business that would like to engage with Adelaide City Council to explore what could be an export opportunity for that business, please contact the Lord Mayor's office directly because we can steer you in the right direction, we can connect you with the right people here at Adelaide City Council so that we can open some doors for greater opportunity for you in our sister city of Qingdao. So our job is quite simple. Our job is to help our city businesses, our city institutions grow. And if that means an export opportunity helps to enable that growth, we're certainly right behind you. So please help us spread the word. Also, as many of you know, we've recently had Anzac Day. And Anzac Day is so important to South Australians and of course all Australians for so many reasons. But recently in the month of April, myself and Deputy Lord Mayor Megan Hender and a number of other elected members here from Adelaide City Council had the great honour of attending the opening of Anzac Centenary Walk on Kintour Avenue in the City of Adelaide, just off North Terrace. If you haven't seen Kintour Avenue, I very much encourage you to do so. It is absolutely magnificent. It is stunning, it is fitting, and it's also very timely because what it does in this year of 100 years of Anzac, also commemorates all of the battle conflicts and the peacekeeping efforts that the Australian military forces have done and engaged in over many, many decades. So please have a look. Adelaide City Council was very pleased and very honoured to contribute almost $2 million towards that project, along with a very strong collaboration with the State Government of South Australia and the Federal Government. So it's an important time just to pause and think about those that have served our country have a look at Kintour Avenue and it really does make you think. So thank you everyone, great to see you, have a terrific month ahead and I look forward to talking to you soon.